just starting this look with my P. Louise base, this one is in the shade 1 and I'm just going in with a Peaches brush in PC52 to apply this. This is also the Best Angle brush by Beauty Bay. I'm just going in with the shade Chip from the Jaclyn Hill Volume 1 palette. Just creating this sort of halo eye effect. So I'm doing the outer edge dark and I'm doing the inner corner dark. I'm now just using a Peaches PC22 brush and I'm just going in with the shade Mocha. That's just a slightly more warmer brown and I'm just bringing that into the sort of inner corners of my eye. Doing it so that the outer corners are really 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 dark then it's kind of fading into a lighter brown. I'm keeping the outer and the inner corners pretty dark and I'm going to have that sort of light glowy halo eye sort of effect in the middle. So I'm just blending these edges out a little bit just making sure that it's nice and seamless. I'm now just going into the actual middle spotlight area with the shade Hustle, or is it Hustler? I think it's Hustler actually. And I'm also just going over that a little bit with the shade Obsessed. That shade is just slightly lighter, so that's what's giving it that sort of halo eye effect. And I'm just going back and forth with that outer and inner edge, just making sure that it's blended and that it's all nice and seamless. And I'm just going in with the shades Chip, which is the darker shade, and Mocha, which is the sort of lighter brown shade. Just going in with some mascara here just before I apply some lashes. These lashes are in the style Minx. Just using some tweezers, I just find this is the best method to apply them. Now I'm just moving on to the face and I'm just going in with my Revolution Matte Base Foundation. This one is in the shade, shade F1. So I'm just using up this foundation because it was just about finished to be fair so I was just finishing off this bottle, just blending it all in, not going too dark this time to be fair because I didn't have any fake tan on so we're just going with my sort of normal shade. I'm just going in with some e.l.f. Camel Concealer. This again is a fantastic concealer. If you haven't watched my favourites video, go and check it out. I will leave it linked in the description. I do actually include this in my favourites because it's fantastic and it just brightens under your eyes seamlessly. I'm just going in with a little bit of the Maybelline powder and also some of the Peaches and Cream Setting Powder under my eyes. Just kind of brighten it a little bit as well. We're just moving on to the under eyes and I do like to kind of smoke this out a little bit but I did also put a little bit of the shimmer kind of in the centre of the bottom of my lash line just to kind of contrast the top halo eye sort of effect. Also just going to make some liner just to hide that lash band. Just using my Revolution Renaissance Black Flick Liner. This is fantastic and it is a new one because I just, I just love this liner so I had to repurchase. Just going back and forth with that bottom lash line, just making sure it's nice and smoky. Just adding a little bit of the shimmer on the bottom lash line as well. Then I did decide to go in with some black liner. just decided to go in with it just to smoke it out a little bit more. This is just a Primark pencil liner and it's pretty good to be fair for Primark makeup. It's definitely recommended. Now I'm just going in with my Freedom Bronzer. I don't have to say too much about this bronzer. And I was just kind of bronzing up the face a little bit. I didn't have any fake tan on, so I was just kind of trying to bring a little bit of colour back into my face. So we're just bronzing round about the face a little bit. And I'm just going in with my Peaches and Cream Lip Liner. I think this one is in Borderline, or it's Praline, it's one of them. So I'm just going in with this Revolution I Heart Chocolate Lip Gloss. This one is in Honeycomb, I think. Add in a little bit of highlighter. I'm just going to with the Topshop highlighter in Crescent Moon just to the kind of higher points of my face. And that is basically this look. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. If you do recreate this, tag me on Instagram at basemic under slash MUA. Hope you guys have a fantastic new year. Whatever you guys are up to, stay safe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.